Good morning. If you are looking at this particular painting, this man carved out of stone, and you're thinking this artist must really love geology, you'd be right, because she does, and hiking and everything else. And in fact, it's nature that really inspires your work. Julie Roth, I'd, tell me a little bit about what we're looking at. So what we're looking at is um, I do all of my work on birch panels with oil paint, and a lot of my work kind of focuses around man versus nature and the relationship that we have with nature, um, the good and the bad. So a lot of my work contains themes about environmentalism, global warming, urban sprawl, and um, just different things on how mankind manipulates the landscape. So this piece right here that we're looking at now, this uh, this man carved out of stone, and I can see that there appears to be sort of strings. Mm -hmm. So what, what was the thought behind this one? Okay, so this uh, piece is called Places to Go, and it's kind of about the mountain being on the move. So when I do a lot of backpacking out west, um, I see these beautiful landscapes of mountains, and I always imagine that they're kind of like big bodies that are just going to kind of get up and walk away from us. At any minute. Right. And the earth is a big living organism. Yeah. So this uh, man in particular who's carved out of stone, he is literally getting up and walking away. And all the wires on him are kind of like symbology for electrical wires or telephone poles or cables that we use to... Um, transport humans to these great places. So there'll be a lot of bridge work in so my... He's shaking it off. Yes, trying he is. To and he's trying to moving through right. life without the cumbersome right. electricity cords and cell phone right. towers right. that we, we so rely on. Because, you know, if you had any, you'd be like, get this off me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. what is this? <laughs> well, just really beautiful work. And some seem very sort of themed with certain colors. Others, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just really, really gorgeous. And I know you mentioned you were um, an engineer, mechanical designer. Right. And you you love the outdoors. You and her husband have super adventurous, and it's clear you can now knowing that right. I can see. Oh wow! I it's can... kind of like a happy marriage of my previous life and my current life <laughs> um, because I do love architecture, and you'll see a lot of architecture built in to my landscapes and concepts. Um, but I also am like a student of like human anatomy. Yeah, love human anatomy. So I kind of have a happy marriage that really works with the messaging I'm trying to convey through my artwork as well. So. Well, beautiful, beautiful work. You can find Julie here at the Ann Arbor Art Fair, 30 blocks long. There are fewer artists, but still quite a few. There are, I think, six or 700 artists, a variety of different mediums. And um, this is just really beautiful work. And one of the special things about coming to the art fair is you get to meet the artist. You get to meet the creator behind the creation and find out those layers that you may not have the opportunity to discover otherwise. So come on down, Ann Arbor Art Fair, last day, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Back to you.